the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big 5 -0. Oh, oh, oh. The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. But I'm here to tell you one thing. Whatsoever life you got, you better go out there and do the will of the Most High like it has never been done before. And see you The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom. Put a black face no, on Gucci and put a black what? face on Montclair. All right? But they've been doing this for a long time. This is nothing new. The only thing is, black man, spang man, you got to know who your enemy is. You got to know that the white man has hated us forever. This black face thing ain't nothing. He been, he been doing that. The white, the white man, he has, been, he has been doing that. Look at the syrup. If you look at the syrup at Jemima, if you do your history of the Adjumani and Sarah, back, in the, back, in, back when Adjumani first came out, there was a black-faced woman with that Sarah bottle. Now in modern times, they made it look like an old, an old black grandmother or an old black auntie. So what? So if you look, if you look at, um, everybody go to Sarah, everybody eat pancakes and waffles, and you, and you use that Adjumani with Sarah, right? The black woman you see on the Aunt Jemima syrup today was not that same black woman. It's, they modernized her. But if you go back in time to when, when, when the Aunt Jemima syrup first came out, it was a black face on that syrup bottle. They, they, the white man has been doing black caricatures forever, for decades. Been doing it forever, making fun of black people. Black man, what you gotta do is stop trying to seek love, man. You keep trying to seek love from your enemy. You, you are, from due to slavery and, Christi and, uh, and Christianity, which is the which is the worst thing, Christianity is the worst. Is, it was is wor it was worse to black people than a crack epidemic, man. You know why? Because it's made us love everybody and never stand up against our enemies. And even when we did stand up against our enemies, a Christian leader like Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson will come down to calm us down. But when a white man has enemies, or when a white man is, is attacked, he don't calm down. He go and attack his enemies with no problem. He stand up against his enemies for no, with no problem, man. He stands up against North Korea. He stands up against Russia with no problem. Black man, you gotta know how to stand up against your enemy. And I'm not saying you have to pick up guns or anything like that. But you gotta know how to deal with your enemy. Now, if Gucci is putting blackface if uh, if Prada is is, is 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 Prada is putting out a hoodie with a noose on it, what are we gonna do? And you don't got you don't have to. It's not all about oh let's boycott Gucci, let's boycott this, let's boycott that. Black man, you have to boycott the white community. That's it. It's about boycotting the black the white community, and you might you making your black community great again, because the black community was great again in the 1920s, in 1921. It's a shame, Wes, though. Our, 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 grand, our great grands and, great, and uncles and all that was millionaires, was, had, had black doctors and black lawyers back in the back in 1920s and back in the 1930s. But look at us now. We got our nose so, to fight, uh, so, so much that the white man's behind, it makes no sense, man. Give me uh, Exodus chapter 12, verse 50. And that was our, that was our issue back in the day. We were slave, black man, you was a slave in Egypt. When Moses went, when, when, when the Lord sent Moses to Pharaoh, and Moses asked, and Moses asked Pharaoh to let my people go, and they went and they went through their battle. They went through their battle. They was released. Eventually, Moses, eventually, Pharaoh was defeated and released the Egyptians. But then when the Egyptians, when the, then they released the Israelites. And then when the Israelites were in, were in the wilderness, when they were on their own, they they started to get wary. They started to talk. They started to talk bad 
against Moses. They, were, they got scared. They feared because they thought they couldn't find any food. But then the Lord ended up giving them food. But some of those people, they, some of those people, they missed Egypt. They missed their captivity, man. And that's our issue. The same, the same thing, the same thing with the same thing with Canada Company, right? He pro, he protested. He could, he would not pledge allegiance to the flag because the police murdering black men and black people. Then his people, then all of a sudden, some people still with him. But when he lost his job, a lot of us got quiet, man. With Colin Kaepernick, the same thing with Colin Kaepernick. With Colin Kaepernick, when he, did, when he did not pledge allegiance to the flag, when he didn't pledge allegiance to the flag, man, a lot of people stood for stood with him. When he got when he lost his job, a lot of people got scared. And they got, and that's what and that's the issue with us, man, is fear. Fear is defeating us, man. That was that's that's that, that was the thing with Floyd Mayweather. With well, all the money that Floyd Mayweather got, fear got to him, man. So he so when they asked him, Floyd, you still gonna walk into Gucci even though the controversy? He said, I have a problem with nobody. He became a slave. He became Uncle Tom. I don't have an issue with anyone. Hey man, I'm not a follower. He is a follower, man. Cause nobody, nobody was rocking Gucci unless the first black man rocked Gucci. Nobody was rocking Louis Vuitton and all that until a black man wore it. Nobody was rocking Versace, Versace until Big E and Tupac and a black man before them. We make these brands what they are today. Black man, you make all, all the athletes and Jordan and the athletes before him have, has, have made Nike what it is. Jordan has made Nike what it is. So what you gotta do is now put it to your own, your own uh, brand. Uh huh? Uh huh? Say again? What we got, what, what, what it is, is all of us have to, all of us have to come together as a group, as we got to come together as a whole, no, 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 and we got to come together as a whole, as a whole, right, and make our own thing popular. Black people had Rockaway, and had Fubu, and had all sorts of black brands, but now that, but now all of a sudden they're not popular because some homosexual, some white people's uh, brand, man. No, how do you get white people, Asian people? I don't care what kind of people you buy it. We don't care about the other races, man. The other, we don't. That's their business. We don't care about a Gucci or Louis Vuitton. Don't, don't run don't run away. Don't run away. Do, do you do you do you go buy do you order Chinese Komodo? Do you go and buy an Asian dress? Do you go buy Arab clothing? Do you order um an African dashiki? Do you uh, order East Indian sari? No, nah, you don't because those cultures are not popular. Don't nobody wanna walk around like a geisha. Don't nobody wanna walk around looking like a damn terrorist like them Arabs. Black culture is American culture. Black culture is the world's culture. Nobody else copies black people more than the other nations. You got Chinese now wearing dreadlocks, singing reggae. You got Japanese trying to be hip hop artists, singing um, Japanese trap music, talking about arigato. Break dancing, stealing all the culture out of New York. You got Africans now in Hollywood pretending to be you. Ain't nobody care about uh, trying to sell our culture to them. What we need to do is realize that we don't need these heathen nations. And we, our culture should stay for us and us only. The Bible said, ye are the salt of the earth. And the sister doesn't understand that. But she was right when she said, we trying to assimilate into their culture. What we need to do is self-segregate. We need to go back to segregation again. Just not forcibly by the white man, but for our own. We in a position of power right now to take away all our resources, all our money and our energies and our culture away from the white man. And you can watch him fall. And I ain't lying about it. You look at it. The Chinese right now, right now you in Chinatown, surrounded by Chinese businesses with writing you can't read. You think segregation is impossible? It's not impossible. But your Christian preachers and your Muslim imams would not let you separate because they get paid from America to keep us slaves. Our religions keep us as slaves in America and make us viable batteries to make this thing start running. 
You don't gotta worry about Trump shutting the government down. Let black people just don't show up to work for a week. Let black people don't pay bills for a week. You will shut America down. And they will come to their knees and beg you for your, for your essence again, for your spirit again. Separation is the key. Not trying to make them buy into us, man. Go ahead. That's right, get a cap in the hand. And that's exactly, now he right what he was saying. We should not, we, you, should get, you, get, you should get your own clothing and your own brand. And we are, we are trying to fight for the white man to buy our brand. I'm not, go, I'm not gonna wear, I'm not gonna buy a rock or wear or FUBU and try to sell it to the white man. We don't care about that. We saying that segregation is healthy, man. And, and in the 1920s in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you had black people who were segregated. Segregated from they had they, they had black it was thirty it was thirty blocks of black business black doctors that came to the house you did not have to go to the doctor the doctor came to you they have black lawyers you have black people in the nineteen twenties who were millionaires man off of what staying in, staying in the black community just like just like the so called Jewish people man the, they everybody know about everybody always rap and talk about the Jewish people or saying the Jewish people are stingy and they keep the money in their community. Black man, you gotta do the same thing, man. That's what we're saying. We're saying the same thing. All, of, all we're saying is the blacks and Hispanics, you gotta band together. You have to open up a hardware store. You have to open up a, open up a food thing and a grocery store. You have to become farmers. And, and, and you, have to, you, have to, um, you have to get steel factories and everything to make our community run again. And we can do it because we did it and we did it in the 1920s. It can happen, man. It's 2019. You mean to tell me a whole 80, uh, 80, 80 years later that we should not be better or more rich than what we were in the 1920s? It happened because we integrated with the white man. We have integrated with our with our enemy. And now we and now we and now we press. Or we we feel we feel fancy when we at the white man's restaurant eating a bloody steak. Eating a bloody steak. He's an animal. He eats raw food. We don't do that, man. Go ahead and read. White black men, I, we have we have we have black people, we have a problem with fear. And it's time to conquer fear. You will not be successful unless you conquer fear. Let's read about black people in the past. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 12, verse 50. Thus did all the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded. Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass the self same day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies. Right, so now Moses, Moses with the Pharaoh, you know, did that whole battle, let my people go and everything. And after, and after the Lord destroyed, Mo, destroyed Pharaoh, the Israelites were released. And now, they're into, and now, they're, now they are in the wilderness. Where you at? Go ahead, give me a... Check the same book, chapter 16, verse 3. Let's see what happened in the wilderness. What happens is, what happened with Floyd Mayweather, when they asked Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather, is he still gonna buy Gucci with all the controversy going on? He was struck with fear. All of a sudden, first of all, he honestly looked like he didn't know, he didn't even know about the Gucci controversy. And then he, he, then he said, well, you know what? I don't have a problem with nobody. He became a coward, man. Black man, you cannot be a coward in America, man. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 16, verse 3. <clears throat> and the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots. Right. So now, so now the so now the people the people were just released from slavery, right? Imagine, 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 uh, imagine right now, black man, Hispanic man, you gotta know that we, we are in slavery in America again. You are not free. Now imagine, imagine we're free from America. You starting to be on your own. Some people are starting to miss America. With all, with all the police, with all the police shootings and all, and all, and all, and all the, the poverty that we lived in, some people saying, oh, living out in the world, uh, living in poverty was better than living in the woods. When you when, when you when we were in the wilderness, we could have built up our own kingdom, man. Go ahead. So now the people are saying, but when we was in, but when we was in Egypt, we, we were by the flesh pots. We had crops to eat. Go ahead. And when we did eat bread, 
to the full. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Right. So once they once they once the once the Israelites were, were released from Egypt, they 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 start talking, they start murmuring amongst themselves. They start talking to Moses saying, Oh, you release us, you release us from slavery, that we come out here in the wilderness and that we die of hunger, man. We were in a wrong spirit. Because we got a, the first the first trouble, the first the first uh, issue that popped up, all of a sudden we wanted to go back to slavery. That was the wrong spirit, man. Let's see what the Lord did. Go ahead. Verse 4. Then said the Lord unto Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. The Lord said, Behold, right now, right now they right now they're talking trash. Right now they're saying that leaving Egypt, leaving slavery was a bad idea. But behold, I'm gonna make it rain bread and manna, man. I'm gonna feed the people. Go ahead. And the people shall go out and gather a certain great every day that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no and it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in right man so the Lord prepared the Lord prepared food for them and that's what we gotta understand we gotta understand if we put our faith in, in the most in the most not God that we will be fed that we can conquer our enemy and right now, it sounds like BS. You know why? Because we go to church every Sunday. We go to Bible study every Wednesday, and our life had not changed. I got a news, I got a news flash for you. God is not in Christianity. God is not in that church, man. All on the path, your pastor is a pedophile. Your choir leader is a homosexual. There is no good. There is no angels. There, that is not a good spirit or a holy spirit in that church. It's nothing but demons in that church. Leave Christianity today and watch you and watch you be a better person. Watch you have a much better spirit, man. The Christian church is, is full of homosexuals, man, and full of pedophiles. There's not a good spirit in that church. Christianity is nothing but white supremacy. It teaches black people how to become a good slave, how to bow down and kiss the white man's feet. And when he kill you, when his racist policemen kill you in the streets, and, so, and when we come up and protest, our black leaders like Jesse Jackson come and tell you to sing. Sing a song like you did 50 years ago with Martin Luther King. And he was a failure as a leader, man. Give me our numbers, chapter 11, verse 4. We got a, we got a fashion, man. We too worried about fashion. We have the fashion brotherhood. We got a fashion sisterhood. And that, so, cause, cause people gonna be mad at Gucci for a little bit. They're gonna be mad at Prada for a little bit. Next month, you're gonna be wearing Gucci again. Next month, you're gonna be wearing Prada again. It's not, a, it's not just you protesting a certain brand. It's about you get, it's about you rewashing your mind and knowing, and knowing how to move as a nation. We have too many individuals, man. And that's how we fall. We black people fall and die by being individuals, man, and try to separate. Go ahead. Numbers chapter eleven, verse four. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting, and the children of Israel also wept again. Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you. Go ahead. And that brother got that, that brother got on the truck and came and supported black business. Right, that's, that's what's right, up, man. That's right. Get that brother a hand, man. He hopped out and gave his brother, because he knew we were talking the truth. He knew we were talking the truth, man. Go ahead. Israel also wept and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt free. So now, so now listen to us. Listen, listen to the evil Negroes, man. Imagine, imagine today. America, what America was, was is, is, is destroyed, and now a prophet comes and releases you out of the, out of the, out of America, takes you to the wilderness, and it's time for you to build up a new kingdom, a black kingdom, and all, all your celebrities, all your Rihannas and Chris Browns and whoever's right. Imagine they say this. They remember the what when they when they were in bondage, when they was a slave. When they, when, they, when they spoke up about their people and lost a contract or lost a commercial contract, 
This is what they said, go ahead. We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely. The cucumbers and the melons and the leeks. Right, man. That's the wrong spirit. The wrong spirit, is th th these were slaves that were talking. These were, sla these were slaves that were, that, were put, that were put into rigorous labor and rigorous slavery from Pharaoh. But with them being in, but, but with them being in the wilderness and them having to find their own food and to go search and go hunt, they says, you know what? It was better than slavery. I'll, you know what? I'll take a policeman killing me as long as I get some food. I'll take some racism as long as I get a crumb. I'll take, I, I'll take um, putting in my resume and it, be, and it being denied because of my race. I'll take that for a little crumb, man. That is the wrong spirit to be in. Read it again. We, did, we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, and cucumbers, and the melons, and the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all. But now their soul is dried away. The, the slaves were released from Egypt. They had no food. They had no patience, man. A little, little trouble came up, and they got scared. And that's what that, that is what's wrong with our so-called leaders, man. That is that is what that is what that's what's happened. That's what's wrong with Steve Harvey. The 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 the, 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 the discussion on the Steve Harvey show, and between Steve Harvey and Monique, was about fear. It was nothing but fear. It was about Monique being riled up. She wasn't. She thought. She wasn't getting paid what she thought she would get from Netflix. She wasn't getting, she thought she, she thought she should be getting paid more money. So she said, you know what? I'm being blackballed. She did, she, she uh, cursed out some people. She might have written, she might have, she might have went the wrong way about it because she had no discipline. But that was, that was right anger, man. That was right anger. And then you have the, you, then you have sellouts like Steve Harvey to tell her, look, we black out here, we black. We can't move like that. We can't move like that. This is this is the money game. I gotta do any, I gotta, I, I don't got, I cannot, I cannot stand up and fight because I'm gonna lose my money. I, I, I will sell my integrity for some money. Steve Harvey is a coward, man. Steve Harvey has his tail tucked between his legs, man. He is not a man that you can depend on. He will be, he, he's bending over for the white man. For him to tell, for him, for Steve Harvey to tell Monique that she gotta sacrifice her integrity. Cause Monique said, what about the integrity game? What about, what about fighting for what's right? She's trying to fight for equality. What, she, what, what Monique had to understand is there is no, no, there is no equality in America, man. There is no equality. Some people, some people will say that's not true. You got a, you got a, you got a, a white singer, you got a black singer. You got a white engineer, you got a black engineer. You got a white firefighter, you got a black firefighter. You got a white policeman, you got a black policeman. People will say that's not true. We all equal. But it's not right, man. If you go if you go into all these fields and ask these and ask these black people about their stories, you will find out that there is no equality, man. You got black, you got black people you got black men that are policemen and have no record, but when they take when they take that uniform off, they are being harassed because of their skin color. You got black people that are policemen that are, they are being pulled over and harassed and tased. And once and once a policeman find out that they're so called a policeman or one of them, they feel sorry, man. It's crazy as hell as though a policeman, a police, the, the black policeman knows that he is not safe. Once he removes his badge off his chest, he's just another nigga, man. It's crazy, man. Go ahead. There is nothing at all beside this matter before our eyes. It should be no. We got that. Our issue is fear, man. Once we conquer fear, you will be successful. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big Five-O. Oh, oh, oh.
the 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom.